Today I am showing you my Peter Pan and Alice in Wonderland collections. Hi guys, I'm Libby and welcome to Punzi's Palace where I do all things Disney, hence the Punzi, and all things regarding my life and home, hence my palace. So if you haven't already, be sure to hit subscribe down below for more Disney and lifestyle content. So guys, we are doing two different collections today, mostly because I think they mesh well together. They give me kind of similar vibes, and also I realized I had a lot more stuff from both of them than I thought I did, and I also just really, really like them. So that is Peter Pan and Alice in Wonderland. Yes, I have the VHSs for both of them because I was a VHS baby. All right, so first I'm going to show you all of my Peter Pan stuff. This one is just slightly smaller than the Alice in Wonderland collection, but I love both of them so very, very much. So I absolutely love Peter Pan, but I don't necessarily love the Disney version of Peter Pan. Like, of course, I still like it. It's a classic, but I love just any iteration of the Peter Pan story. I just love the story of Peter Pan and who he is. So I love Hook. I love the Peter Pan 2003 movie a lot. I love that one. And I just love the original Jay and Barry movie. I love Finding Neverland, all of the Peter Pan stuff. Also, the first time I was ever an assistant stage manager was in high school working on the play Peter Pan. So I really, really love it. It's, it's like one of my faves. And from that show, I actually helped to work on the set a lot. But one of the things that I worked on the set the most with was building Nana's house. And we had to tear down the house and all the rest of the set after the show was over. But I got to keep a little bit of it. So I kept the little board that says Nana that was on top of her house. I love it. So it's just like, it's a very simple. You wouldn't really know. People see it and they're like, Nana. It, no, this is Nana from Nana's house when I worked on the show. I still have it and I love it. Next up, I'm going to do all of my little collectibles. So as you can see, I do have the Peter Pan wishables. Let me show you those real quick. I have the Tinkerbell wishable. She is so cute. This was the open edition one that you could just get immediately. I love her and her little wings and her winking. She's adorable. And of course, I also have got Peter Pan. I knew if anything, I had to get Peter Pan out of any of the wishables that I got from this set. He's just so cute. I love he has his little dagger and I love his little hat. Adorable. But even more than that, I also got Nana, the little Nana wishable. She's so cute. I love her little tongue and bonnet. She's adorable and she's got a little fluffy tail. I love Nana so very much. I think she's so cute. I don't really like collect collect wishables. I just have like a good handful, but I do collect pins and Tsum Tsums and Funkos. I don't have a Peter Pan Funko yet, but I do have three Peter Pan Tsum Tsums, a little Tinkerbell Tsum Tsum. She's so tiny. She's got the little wings and her little bun. She's adorable. And I have a Peter Pan Pan one. So his little hair, his hat, adorable. And his little outfit. And again, he has this little dagger. And I also have a big hook zoom zoom. He is so cool as a zoom zoom. I love his little mustache and his hat. He's so fabulous. I love it. And then I do have a few stickers because I also kind of collect stickers now too. I have a lot of stickers. So I have this little Tinkerbell Zoom Zoom sticker. Very cute, very adorable. Got that from like a pin trade for, as a little freebie. Again, I have this one of Wendy and a little Tinkerbell down there, kind of dissing Wendy. It's so cute. I love these stickers of one of the main characters or one of the bigger characters and a little sidekick down there. And then of course I have some pins. I really would like to grow my little Peter Pan pin collection because I love Peter Pan, but I just don't see a lot of them that I really like. I have four for now. So these are the four that I have. I got all three of these from my sister for my birthday. And this one's a little Tinkerbell hidden Mickey. I have this cutie of Peter Pan. I'd really want the Tinkerbell one to go with him from that set. And then I have a Peter Pan Mickey head, adorable. And then I had to get Peter and Tink from the Disneyland Couples series. It's just so cute. Look how detailed it is, a little Peter and Tink. And then the last few things in the Peter Pan selection that I have are book related items. So I kind of try to make some Perler B bookmarks from time to time. I think they're really fun, but I made this Captain Hook bookmark. I think it's really cool. So we have like Captain Hook with his fancy little hat and his hair and mustache and his hook right here. 
and then it goes into the crocodile at the bottom trying to eat him and also i have a little golden book of peter pan of course it's adorable very old school and it like all golden books it tells the story and has beautiful imagery like look at that amazing and i also have the twisted tail on my kindle it is straight on till morning and this one was it's pretty good i would give it maybe like a four out of five stars i enjoyed it a good bit i really liked wendy and tinkerbell's like relationship and how that developed and grew i thought that was pretty fun i wasn't as huge of a fan of how they characterized peter pan i feel like a lot of the times peter pan is either characterized to be something that's like really really cool and a very neat concept but i think with this book it was just kind of they took the lame way out and he was just you know a bratty little kid i wasn't as huge of a fan of that i think peter pan has a lot more depth than that and also he didn't show up till like the very end of the book which i wasn't a fan of but it was still pretty good i give it four out of five stars so that is my whole little peter pan collection so now to show you my alice in wonderland collection there are quite a few really cool things in here alice in wonderland is a big huge part of like my childhood so my grandmother her name was alice and so she always had a little bit of a fondness towards alice in wonderland and so i have that connection to it but also the very first play i ever was a part of was called wonderland and it was like a play on alice in wonderland we did a lot of the same stuff but there was some like weird parts of it so it wasn't exactly like the disney version of alice in wonderland but it was so much fun and so i have a great big connection to alice in wonderland because of that show and then growing up and seeing the Alice in Wonderland Tim Burton version come out because I was a huge Tim Burton fan so I absolutely loved that. I love it. It's so fun and so cool and fun fact if you want to know the parts that I played in the play that I did I was Tweedledee, The Rose, Red Knight, and a Unicorn. Yeah, it was a little weird, but it was still very fun. But the first thing I'm going to show you is actually because I was fortunate enough to go on a study abroad trip while I was in college, and my study abroad was like the coolest one ever. I went and toured all around the UK, and my program was called British Fantasy Literature, so we did a lot of like Harry Potter, King Arthur, Narnia kind of stuff, as well as Alice in Wonderland, and so I got to see a lot of things that inspired Lewis Carroll and things like that, as well as we had... I'll insert some pictures here, but we got the pleasure of having a tea party to go to for tea time. And it was all Alice in Wonderland inspired. And oh my gosh, if that is how tea is all the time <laughs> in England, I would be down for it all the time. The sandwiches were so good. The cute little sweet treats were so good. They had Alice in Wonderland inspired tea. So they had like Mad Hatter, the White Rabbit, the Queen of Hearts and I think it was either Mad Hatter or Queen of Hearts that I really liked because I tried tea because I had to and it was actually pretty good and I'm not a tea person. I absolutely love that but the first thing I'm going to show you is I got this postcard of Lewis Carroll. It is a little postcard of all of the different places around Christ Church that kind of inspired Alice in Wonderland and so it's a really cool neat little postcard and I absolutely loved it. I think I got it for like a pound so it's pretty cheap to get something this cool and then it has even a little bit more on Lewis Carroll on the back and it's an actual like postcard but I'm not going to use it as a postcard it's probably going to be something I hang up eventually but I love this card and then just going off of how much I loved Alice in Wonderland and how I grew up with it I did mention that I was a DS Game Boy player and so I got the DS game Alice in Wonderland this was kind of like the Tim Burton inspired style and storyline Alice in Wonderland game it's like one of my favorite DS games it was so fun so enjoyable an amazing adventure story and it's so cool you can play as so many different characters you don't play as Alice because your entire storyline is trying to keep Alice safe and it is so cool. You can play as the White Rabbit, you can play as Cheshire, you can play as Mad Hatter, and... Oh, the Caterpillar! You can also play as the Caterpillar. It's awesome. I absolutely love this game. If you still have a DS and you're able to find and play that game, I highly recommend it. I had a lot of like the Tim Burton Alice in Wonderland things when I was in like middle school and everything, but a lot of it was like kind of like cringy middle school stuff. So I've gotten rid of it since then. All right, and then for collectible things, I don't have any Alice in Wonderland Funkos, but they came out with a bunch of Alice in Wonderland Funkos that are coming out this year and I love them. They're so cool. Probably won't get all of them, 
just because that's that's a lot. I love Alice in Wonderland, but not like that that much. But I love the one of her in the garden because I did play Rose and so kind of an homage to that as well as I love the March Hare and Mad Hatter Funko Pops. They're really, really cute. And I don't have any Alice in Wonderland Tsum Tsums either, but I do have Alice in Wonderland stickers and pins. So I have quite a few Alice in Wonderland stickers that are really cute. So I have this Cheshire Cat one. This was from a pin trade really, really early. And then I have this one from Pixie Wishes Co. This was so cute. This was from her Valentine's Day set. It was on a card and it said, like your, my cup of tea, but it's really cute. It has Alice inspired teacup, Mad Hatter and Cheshire Cat. And then I also have another one of the same kind of style as the Peter Pan one that I showed you, but it is Alice with her little cat, Dinah. It's so cute. I love Dinah. I think she is so cute, like so adorable. I love an orange cat they're so cute. And then my pins, I have five Alice in Wonderland pins, so only a little bit more than the Peter Pan ones, but I think these ones are like really, really cool and they look just so beautiful. Look how pretty they are! So I got this one, this one, and this one all from Christmas last year from Michael's family. So we have the teacups stacked here. We have a cutie little Alice and I have this Mad Hatter little hat here. I love it. And then I got this white rabbit one. He's so cute. I got that from Fran's Life Sale, Fantastic Pins. And then this one I got from Box Lunch. It's a recycled pin and so like at least 30% of this is recycled and it's so pretty. It has like a pinky stained glass effect in the background and it's in the shape of the Mad Hatter's hat which is awesome and it has the white rabbit and Alice. It's so pretty. I love it so very much. And then I got this thing. This was for like a birthday or Christmas present so many years ago. It was right near after when I had first done the play Wonderland. My first play was I was 10. I was 10 years old so this is a pretty old piece but it is so cool and my sister got it for me and it's so pretty. It is framed artwork of Alice in Wonderland and can you see how like shiny it is? It's like very shiny metallic kind of work. I don't know how to describe it but it's really cool. So we have the Cheshire Cat, we've got Alice the Caterpillar, Queen of Hearts back there, the White Rabbit, we have the cards, the Mad Hatter, March Hare and Tweedledee and Dumb and the Dormouse. So this is like more of the original artwork kind of styling, but it is so cool. It's really cool. I really, really like this. Look at that. It's so cool. And then the last three things are all book related. I'm saving the last book for last because it's really, really cool. So I have this Alice's Adventures and Wonderland book, but it's actually not a book. It's a Kindle cover for my Kindle. It's really, really cool though. And it has it even on the spine. And then on the back, I think that's the company that makes this. It, it's just, it's really nice to have a Kindle cover that makes it look like it's an actual book. And I love that it's Alice in Wonderland themed and it's very like subtle. Alice in Wonderland. It's not like right in your face, which I really like because it makes it look like an old book. I love it. This was from Michael's mom for my birthday this past year. And then this book I got in London when I was on my study abroad. I think it was the Victoria and Albert Museum. I went into their gift shop and looked at all the really cool things and I saw this and I was like, I'm gonna get it because I didn't have like a Alice in Wonderland like the original telling book and so I really wanted one and the artwork on it is so cute. We have the little white rabbit. It's it's so so very cute and I also had to write a paper for my study abroad and one of the stories I needed to use was Alice in Wonderland so I wanted my own copy of it so I can just cite from it. We have the dormouse on the back. It has like some of the original artwork in there as well. This last thing I'm pretty sure my grandmother gave to me and it's like the coolest thing ever. It was cool when I was a kid, it's still cool now. So it is this giant Alice's Adventures in Wonderland book and it's a pop-up book. So you see how thick it is? It's so cool. Let me show you. You ready? Isn't that awesome? So there's so many cool things. So you have the story like goes through over here and there's little pop-ups in there. This is really cool. You pull this up and you look through the top and it looks like Alice is falling through the rabbit hole. There's only like a few pages of this, so I'll show you the pages. There's her in the house. I love it. And of course there's more pop-up pages over here. This one, the Duchess and the Screaming Baby, everything. We have the tea party. Ah, so cool. 
I love it. And the Dormouse is right there. And he's very fuzzy. I love that. Then we get to the croquet match here. She like moves and everything to try to get, I love it. And then this last page is the coolest page. I don't think you're ready for this guys. Look how cool it is. So you have Alice here knocking down all the cards. I love it so much. It's so cool. And then of course, more pop-up pages there. This book is so awesome. I love a fun little pop-up book. And this is like the coolest one I've ever seen. Of course, like some of the pages, like some of the pop-ups aren't as cool as when I first got it. But after having it for like 10 plus years, I think it's still in really good condition and it's really awesome. So any Alice in Wonderland fan out there, I'm sorry, but now you have a new thing that you want to find to add to your collection because this is really, really cool. All right, so that is my entire Peter Pan and Alice in Wonderland collection. They are a little small, but I think all the things in them are very special and unique and I'm really happy with all of them and I treasure so very much all the memories from both of these movies and everything associated with it. I can't wait to add a few more little special things to these collections over time but that's all i have for right now let me know in the comments down below what was your favorite item from my collection if you want you can say a favorite item from both because i know i wouldn't be able to pick just one thing from both and if you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and until next time guys farewell